Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it's Tuesday night. It's not Monday night. So I missed last night because my son had a meeting at the school for senior parents for next year. So we're making it up tonight. So I'm hoping that y'all will hop on and we're going to make something cute and chat and craft and do all the fun things. So come on in and let's have a seat and let's make something cute and let's chat and talk about stuff. Come on in. Hello, everybody. Hey, Luann. Hello, friend. Hey, Susie. How are you? Glad y'all are coming on. Hey, Tina. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Sandy and Christy. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Valerie. I'm good. I'm good. I am good. Hey, sissy. I'm going to go ahead and just get started cutting out some stuff. We're going to make some cute flowers. Um, I've already tried this today, so um, it works. And we're going <laughs> to make it. Hey, Carol and Liz and Ruthie. So we are going to, I'm going to show y'all we're going to make these cute flowers. Hey, Brenda and Nancy. And where are my, oh, my little templates I got over here? Hey, Wendy from Missouri and Karina. You wore that shirt today. He says, hold on, hold on. Let me overthink it. That's what I do with everything. Hey, Pam, you're at a ball game, but you're watching me too. <laughs> you're multitasking. Hold on, where is my... I don't know where my little eraser pen is. Oh, here it is. Hey, Terry. Hey, Carla. And Debbie. So, I'm going to tell you all the sizes of this. This is just a circle that I traced this, the top of a vase. Hey, Angela and Kay. Thank you, Kay and Terry. Yay! How happy to be here. I'm happy y'all are here. Um, I had to, last night, I had to go to the school because my son's a senior next year. Um, and so... We had to have a meeting, and they had to kind of tell you what all is going to go on and the whole timeline of everything. And, um, hey, Brenda and Cheryl. Oh, good, Cheryl. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Angela from Iowa. I'm going to tell y'all sizes of this in a minute. <laughs> hey, Carolyn. Hey, Norma and Barb. Hello. What am I doing? Hello, hello. Hey, Debbie and Sandy. So I'm just cut. I'm just tracing out my little cardboard circles that I made some little templates today, and I'm gonna tell y'all how, how big they are. Hey Brenda, yay! Thank you, Julie. That's so sweet of you to say. Um, yay! Yes, Gwen. I I said, oh, I gotta make it up to them. So um, because I missed last night, I hated to miss, and I was actually home in time to go live, but. I wasn't prepared <laughs> because I didn't think I would be. So I just said, well, I'll do it tomorrow night. Hey, Kathy and Lisa and Rose and Irene. Um, so I said, well, we'll do it tomorrow night. So this is four and three quarter. I'm just writing the sizes so I can show, show y'all. You love this fabric? They have this at Walmart. I think this is actually from Hobby Lobby, but it's like that um, ticking Red and white, red and cream color ticking. Hey, Judy and Carol and Tammy. Hello, friends. And we're going to, um, oh, your Heidi's from, from Michigan, too, she says. So, I'm just going to cut out my circles while we're chit-chatting and saying hello. Oh, okay, Karen, I'll look at it when I get done. I'll look at it. Um, see if I can't help you. I'll try. Hey, Elaine from Alabama. Hey, Linda from Maryland. So, I'm just cutting out my little circles. We're going to make some cute flowers. Hey, Jerry and Diane. Hello. Thank y'all for coming on and chit-chatting and crafting with me. Hey, Gracie. Hey, Judy, you have it in three colors. Yeah, it comes in like blue and red and I guess maybe a gray or something probably if I had to guess. I, don't, I only have the <clears throat> the red. Yes, and Dana, you and they have it at Hobby Lobby, and I, I, don't, I guess it goes on sale. I have this. It's from Hobby Lobby, too, and it's like a ticking, but it's kind of reversed. Um, hey, Claudia. 
Oh, good, Heidi. You had spring-like weather today. That's nice. Um, it's, it's already gotten hot here. It went from spring to hot, like, overnight. So now we have humidity, and it's like 85 degrees in the daytime, and it's warm. That's okay. I don't, I don't want it to be cold, so I'm not going to complain. Hey, Jane, a, a strawberry kit guide. Yes, Pam, I think it was Pam that asked that. On my other page, there is the tutorials. If you, you get a sheet in your, when you order stuff from me and I send you like an instruction sheet, there is a code, like a little Q code at the bottom. And if you take your camera on your phone and and hold it over that and tap it, it'll take it take you to that page where those um, where the tutorials are for all my kits or most of my kits. Corby, no, they're gonna be little popsicles. I was gonna actually show y'all. I put these out a couple of years ago, just like for minis for the um, <clears throat> for the gumball machines. I've had a couple of people ask me. For different things for the gumball machines lately because I haven't put anything out in a while. I put the dragonflies and the butterflies out. But, um, oh, and tan at Walmart. I don't think I've seen those at mine. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so I've had people asking me for stuff for the gumball machines lately. So I decided I would, that today was the day. So I have cut, I've cut little popsicles, which I put those out several years ago. Um, I just gotta uh, get them painted. And then I've got flowers that are coming. Somebody asked me for flowers to put in there. Look how cute they are. So, <clears throat> and um, I got Dorothy to paint some today. She painted them for me. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Look at the little flowers. All the little colors. She's like, I have the best job. I can sit here and paint while I'm working. <laughs> hey, Erica. Hey, Andrea. All right. So, anyway... Haley, storming, storming. Oh no, Tina, y'all be safe. Okay, so I have cut out circles. We're gonna make flowers. Um, y'all know I like to make flowers. I haven't, usually every year I redo that these flowers um, because everybody loves them so much. And I haven't done it this year, but I'm gonna make a different kind of flower tonight. But we're gonna kind of do it patriotic. <clears throat> so here's my first go at it today. So this is one I tried. And I'm just going to show y'all how to do this. But we're going to jazz them up, too. I was just trying it. I know, Tammy, I love of those um, those flowers. I love them. Okay, so one circle is four and three-fourths. So I made myself templates. I just took a... This was like a, a glass vase that I had, and I traced around it because I, I knew I wanted my flower about this big. It's going to be a little smaller how we're going to cut it. And then this one is four inches. So I just wanted one that kind of sat inside of there. So it was a little bit smaller than the bigger one. So it really doesn't matter. Leah, I don't wash my fabric. Um, if I was making something like a pillow or I might would wash it, but no, normally I don't. You went mushroom hunting with your dad. I bet that was interesting. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, so four, four inches and then four four and three fourths is the sizes that I cut, but you can cut whatever size you want. Just make sure that whatever size, you'll see that it's gonna be smaller than this when we finish. Um, and then you're gonna need another circle, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so I got my two circles and I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna make a taco. <laughs> Y'all know I like to talk about tacos and party hats when we make those, <laughs> but if you've watched my videos, I always say, you know, taco and party hat. So I'm gonna, Fold it in half, okay? And then, hey, Lynn and Teresa, good evening. You needed this. Yay! Thank you, Lynn. Okay, so this is just kind of, I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm going to basically make little points on my, on my um, flower because I want it to look like this, okay? That's how I want it to look. So I want it to be jagged. So I'm just gonna cut like that. Taco Tuesday, right? <laughs> and then, so I'm just gonna kinda just turn my fabric to where it cuts like this. Oh, the fl another flower in a vase, in this vase, this flower, 
This was something I was playing around with last year on my laser. This is actually a piece of wood and it has little slots in it where you tie the fabric around. I just never have cut them. I've never made them. I don't know what's wrong with the color of this thing. I don't know. What, I don't know if it's my phone or when I hold something up, it goes to a different color. It's weird. But anyway, um, so I never have cut these and put these out, but that's what that is. I guess I need to because they're stinking cute, aren't they? And it's just got like a little skewer on the back. Hey, Joy. Cut out little V's. Yes, Janet, thank you. That's what little triangles or little V's. So I just go to the point on that one and cut like that. And then I'm just gonna do that all the way around. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect or neat or it's gonna be fine. So you just kind of cut like that. We're gonna make some cute flowers and dress them up. And they, they are patriotic, so I'm doing them red, white, and blue. You could do these any color that you want to. See, mine aren't perfect. It's like a saw blade or something. Hey, Mel. Hey, Carla. And I'm just gonna do, I fold it in half, just that way you don't have to cut all the way around. You're just basically doing one side and it takes care of all of it. Okay. So, so that's what I have. So now you unfold it and you have this, okay? So I'm gonna do the smaller one. So this was the four and three fourths, that one. So see how it, it got smaller, just a little bit. And then we're gonna take this one is four inches. Pinking taco. <laughs> and you can use pinking shears too, it'd be really cute. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Hey, Dana. If you were using drop cloth, you would want to wash it. Yeah, I've washed my drop cloths um, just because it makes them a little softer and they're, I guess they're, they're just kind of stiff and they have a funny smell sometimes. So I, um, I always wash my drop cloth. Hey, Sherry, we're making these little patriotic flowers. I just thunk something up in my head. I, I don't know. And last night, I did get home in time to go live, but I did not prepare because I didn't think I would be home in time. And I was like, well, so I prepared something today for us to do tonight. Hey, Cindy. Okay, so... Yay, Lisa, I'm glad you're here. So I'm just making little... V cuts or cutting out little triangles or whatever all the way around just like that easy peasy so now you have we have two pieces that look like this okay all right so let me and I forgot my trash bag in the house so my trash can doesn't have a trash bag in it so I can't put anything in there hey Cindy I'm glad you're here hey Joyce I'm good how are you hey Melina okay so when I was doing this today I was gonna just leave it like this. And then I decided, no, let's go a little bit further. And I'm gonna go in each one of these little, the little valleys and just make a cut. Sort of like we're making petals, but I'm only gonna cut in maybe a half inch. Cause the other piece is gonna sit on top. So it really doesn't matter. So I'm just kind of going in each one of those little valleys and just making a little slit. Cause I kind of want it to be like petals. I thought it needed something. So I just kept playing with it. <laughs> hey Bridget, the twins are in rare form. <laughs> Bless your heart. Well, maybe they'll calm down and they'll watch. Hey Corky from the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. That's a beautiful area, the country. Okay, so I've got little slits. See, I don't cut down very far, just a little bit. But you can do however you want to. So we're gonna do this to this. Uh, the tutorial page is the turquoise valentines, wood blanks, tutorials, and more. It takes me a minute sometimes too. But if the instruction sheet that you get that comes with everything you purchase from me, it has a code down on the right-hand side. And that code, if you, you know, do it with your camera on your phone, it will take you to that page. 
so you can see, you know, most of the kits that really need to, you need to know how to put it together. That's where I put the tutorials. Okay. Yeah, the reveal page is where all of you can put your crafts. You, okay, she washes, Tammy washes all her fabric. I don't wash all mine. Um, now, if I was sewing clothes or something, I might would, but... Um, so see, I just went and I cut and made like little petals. Hey, Christine, my nose is itching. Okay, so now we've got those two pieces. So now we got to work on this part. So this next part, the actual cardboard we're going to use, we're going to actually put it in our flower. Um, you need the shirt. Hold on, let me overthink it. <laughs> That's like me. I overthink everything. Okay, so this is real scientific. So what I did, I just looked for something round in my craft room because I knew I wanted it to be, you know, like that. And I was like, oh, that's the perfect size. So all I did was trace, I'm gonna trace my little um, top of my Waverly paint. And then I'm gonna cut that out. Um, Wendy, it's, um, yeah, that tutorial is on the page too because the circles go in a certain, certain order. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's the turquoise valentines, wood blanks, tutorials, and more page. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Okay. So now I have this circle and let me tell you how big it is just, just for the sake of, of knowing. So it's about two and a quarter across. Um, and it's just the top of Waverly paint is what I used. So this piece is actually going to stay in the flower because we are going to, let's do this one. I'm trying to decide if I wanna use what else I have out here. Did I, I'm gonna use that. Well, I don't know. Let's use this, let's use this. So you can do these. Thank you, Dana. Um, but you can use any colors you want to. If you want to do these white and make daisies or make sunflowers, you know, you can more, you're more than welcome to do whatever color you want. So I'm actually going to cut a square to start with, a good bit bigger than my circle. Cause y'all know where I'm going with this. Okay, probably. Um, so anyway, so I have my little circle and I just cut where I'd have enough all the way around, but I'm going to cut that round. It's not going to be perfectly round because I can't cut, <laughs> cut a circle. So I'm just kind of, you know, it doesn't matter. You're not going to know. So we're going to actually put some stuff in, in there. <laughs> yes. I think women just in general, like overthink everything. Okay, these would make cute sunflowers. Um, they would be very cute. So where is my, okay, so here's my, the famous polyfill bag that used to be flat at the store and we got a big giggle out of that. I don't know if that's the same bag or not. So I just got a little bitty bit and I'm gonna try my best to kind of mash it down underneath our cardboard like this. All right, so this is where it gets fun. Uh-oh. So I cut, I'm gonna show y'all how much I have all the way around. So, I mean, I have probably a half inch maybe of fabric. Maybe. And I'm trying to get all my polyfill kind of underneath my cardboard. Oh, your granddaughter graduated. How sweet is that? Hey, Debbie. Uh-oh, am I froze? I hope not. Y'all, I didn't have internet all weekend and it was horrific. <laughs> it was horrific. Okay, so I've got my glue gun on low and you'll see why. Because I put some glue on my cardboard and then I'm just gonna pull that fabric in. And I'm gonna hold it there a second. <laughs> Judy, that bag was hilarious that night. I had to pop it so y'all could see. Oh, this shirt came from Beware. And y'all, they changed my code. It's TTV. That's all it is. If You, you can get 15% off with my code. 
because they changed it because it was being put all over the interwebs on like Retail Me Not and all these different sites. So you're just gonna start pulling in your little um, fabric. Hey, Ann. Hey, Juanita. Put a little hot glue under the polyfill. Donna, you're so smart. See, I need y'all. Y'all help me so much. Okay, so see, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I need to put some hot glue in there. All right, so I'm just folding in, kind of like your upholster in a chair seat. I know y'all probably done that before. So it doesn't have to be neat or pretty, but I put my glue gun on low. Mine has a dual setting, and I, so I won't be burning my fingers when I'm having to sit here and hold this down. But you're just gonna basically pull it in like we're making a little footstool for Barbie or something. <laughs> hey, Angela. Y'all, I used to make Barbie Barbie furniture out of scrap wood when uh, when I was a little girl. And we built a house. And we, um, I would take the scrap wood and make chairs and tables and all kinds of little stuff when I was a little girl. Hey, Robin. Yes, all is well. I had to go to that meeting last night. You know, basically they just kind of tell you Oh, well, we're gonna, this is what's going to go on all year long, and this is all the money you're going to be out because your son's a senior, and you're going to have to pay for this and pay for that and pay for this. <laughs> Donna, they're over there, but I just turned it on low, and it's not as hot, so it's not bad. Um, okay. Let me pull that one a little bit more. So if you get a point like this, see that little point right there? And you can just come back here and put a little dot of glue and then just kind of, I don't know what that was that just fell. Weird stuff happens in here, y'all, I'm telling you. I don't know what it is, but, so so speaking of that, let me tell y'all this. Y'all you know, heard things happen in the background before when I'm in here. And so, okay, so there's my center. So, so this weekend, I didn't have internet. So my printer works through Wi-Fi. It like I can hit print on my computer and it, goes through the Wi-Fi and it prints on the printer. So I couldn't print. And so I had to have a direct cord. Well, my Cricut, anyway, I have a printer cord over here where my old Cricut is. So I had to get on the shelf way down here on the bottom and get the cord out. So in the process of me doing that, I had this big, tall cylinder clear thing and it had beads in it. It's from Michael's, it has beads in it. Well, I spilt them and they went they're still there because I have not, I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to clean it up. So they're all under this shelf over here, like all just laying on the shelf. And the shelf is level because they're just sit, they're just laying there, okay? So today, this is the honest truth. Me and Dorothy were sitting over there and today one of those beads just came off the shelf. It's on the bottom shelf and it's about, I don't know, eight inches off the floor, about that far off the floor. And one of those beads just went, and just rolled all the way across the room over here. The air conditioner wasn't on. Nothing was happening. She and I were sitting over there and we heard it. And I was like, what was that? And I looked and I saw it, ding, 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 going across the floor. Yep, it's Deidre, Nancy. And um, Dorothy's like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Cause she knows stuff happened, has happened out here a few times. It's like, that was awkward, <laughs> but anyway, so it anyway, was all good. Nothing else happened. So it was weird. So, and then something just fell and I don't even know what it was. I don't know. I don't know. A Casper Crafter, right? Ghostbuster. Okay. So I've got my big flower and I've got my little flower. So we are going to, let me get my stripe. Do I want the stripes go in the same direction? I think I'm gonna make them go opposite. Like these stripes are gonna go this way and the back ones are gonna go the other way. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put some glue. Okay, to be honest, the best way, instead of just putting like a dot, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna kind of go in a circle and I'm gonna show you why in a second. Cause I figured this out and I may put a little dot in the middle. And because when I just put a dot in the middle, uh, when you get this all together, like my petals didn't want to, I'll show y'all. Hey, Sue. Okay. So I just, 
now we have them together. So now I'm just going to kind of take it and I want to ruffle up all those little bitty, um, hey Mary, ruffle up all these little petals. So they kind of do their own, you know, they don't look just so flat and whatever. Okay. So there are, there they are. So they kind of look a little frazzled. Is that the right side? That's the right, yeah, that's the right side. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna glue the center in. This is gonna be adorable. Okay, I gotta get some more glue. All right, so I'm just gonna, that's our little center that we made. Now I wanna make sunflowers. Cause these would be so cute, sunflowers. So I'm gonna sit there and hold that. Hey, Martha. Hey, Wanda. Welcome, y'all come on in. Okay, so there's my little flower. Now, if you wanna take it one step further, and you could do this before, but you could go, like this is my little brown, to make it a little bit kinda not grungy, but give it a little something extra. You could just come in and go around your little petals a little bit, just to give it some shading, I guess, would be the best way, and this would really good, look good on yellow. So I'm just, kind of gives it a more of a primitive kind of look, but you don't have to do this. This is vintage photo. This is the little ones, like Tim Holtz little ones, and it just gives it a little bit more dimension to it, I guess. Hey, Mary Ann. Yes, Kathy, you can do burlap. That would be so cute, cute, cute. All right, so now I have this one and that one. I am gonna make another one because I wanna do like a set of three. But, um, so let's make one more. And I think this time I'm gonna do, I've got this blue kind of gingham color. And I think I'm gonna do the petals blue instead of red this time. I wish I had the blue ticking. Yes, yeah, Sue, I'm going to make another one. Because I know some of y'all pop on late, so it's fine. So we'll make another one. Because I want a set of three. Alright, so this first circle that I made the template is four and three-fourths. So that's my first circle. And I'm just going to trace my fabric. But like I said, use whatever color fabric you want. I just like the patriotic. I think they'll be cute. And this one's four inches. A glass of rosé and sitting there. Thank you, Patricia. All right, so I'm gonna trace my four inch circle. Okay, yep. So now I'm gonna cut these out. I like to cut them out first and then of the fabric so then I don't have to contanker with that whole thing. Um, so see, I've got my circles on there. So I'm just gonna cut those out. You can even do these with paper and just do something different for the center. Same, same kind of principle. We've kind of made some like that before out of the book pages. So let's see. I know they kind of, they look cute with that brown on them. I think it gives it a little something, something. Okay, so there's one circle. All these flowers start with circles. Those start with circles too. <laughs> I need to make those again because I know there's probably people here that haven't seen that. Um, those flowers and everybody just loves them and I love them. I think I made patriotic ones one time. Red, white, and blue ones. They look cute in any color really. Okay, so now I've got my two circles the four and three-fourths, and then the four. So I'm going to, yes, and cutting them with pink and shears would be very cute, and I guess I could have done that. But I forget about them. I forget I have a pair. You know, I bought some, what, at Christmas time, I think, a new pair. Okay, so you're gonna fold it like a taco, and this just helps you to keep from having to cut so much. Um, and then I'm gonna cut out little B shapes like this, a little wedge, to make my little points. 
You could do it scalloped if you want to, to get you a different kind of flower. You could just kind of cut it, you know, different on each one and you'd have different little flowers, give them a different look. So your petals wouldn't be pointy, they would be rounded. Just play with it and just do different, different things. That's the fun part of all of that. So you have this and then you have that. You love this fabric? I know, I love this fabric too. Okay, I love all fabric. I don't even, who am I kidding? <laughs> I have a lot of fabric. Hey, Amanda. Yay. Okay, so now we're gonna take the smaller one, do the same thing. And yes, now I wanna make sunflowers with some yellow gingham or It'd be really cute. Do it. We could do them with drop cloth, and you could dye the drop cloth. You could paint the drop cloth. There's so many options you can do. You don't have to just do what color the fabric is. You can always paint it. You can do burlap, like somebody said. Um, and they would be adorable. Okay, so now we have that. Looks like little suns. So now I'm gonna cut. So in the little valleys, each one of the valleys, I'm gonna cut about a half inch in. And you don't have to do that part. I just did it so the, the petals could kind of ruffle up and do their own thing when I kind of crunch them all up. So this one's got a crease in my fabric. So it's not wanting to lay right for me. So I'm just going in there and cutting a slit in each one of the valleys. Okay, so I got that one. Gingham, yellow gingham with burlap center. Ooh, that would be pretty. And they have yellow burlap too. That would be really pretty also. That yellow, that maize colored yellow. I think they have that. I know they have that wide ribbon. That's that color. The, the burlap ribbon stuff. At Ho I think I've seen it at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going in all the valleys and making a little slit. But you do you and you do how you wanna do it if you don't wanna do this part. Like I said, you could do them scalloped. Okay, so they all have these little things. And the only reason I cut that far in is because they're going to be behind there, and you're not going to see it. And then the front piece is going to be on this one. So if you cut further in, it's really not going to make that much a difference. But the reason I glued in the circle was so that the back petals wouldn't do this. They wouldn't, you know, they would have something to kind of hold on to. Instead of just gluing right in the center. Hey, Rhonda. Playing the piano. Jan, I just... I look at Pinterest a lot. Uh, sometimes I see something in a magazine or, or on the internet and I just say, oh, okay, well, I can do that and I can make that like this or I can do that. You know, I, it's, it's sometimes it's random places. I'll be in a store and I'll see something and be like, oh, I could do that and we can make those to look like this. You know, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It just comes from somewhere inside me somewhere. Okay. But if you saw this room in here and saw this menagerie of supplies, um, I have fabric and everything else in here. I can just sit here and come, you know, try to come up with stuff sometimes. And sometimes it's hard to get the inspiration when it won't come. It's like, oh gosh, what am I going to make? Um, so I'm gonna go with, this is gingham and that's gonna be gingham. Or should I, okay. I think I'm gonna go with back to the, cause I kinda want them to match. Like all three, I kinda want them to match. So I'm gonna tie this into this one. I'm gonna use this instead of the gingham. Cause it is a little bright for what I'm doing. So for my center part, what am I doing? I gotta cut that, but not first. <laughs> Okay, so you get your cardboard, and this is my 
center circle is the Waverly paint bottle. And we said it was about two and a quarter, I think, across. So that's, uh-oh. I went too far to the edge. I couldn't see the edge. There we go. All right. So I'm going to cut out my circle. This good old Amazon box or something. I got the flap off of it. And used it. I know y'all got some of those. All right, so there's my circle. It's not perfect, but okay. Um, holiday, I type in the seasons or holiday DIY projects. Yeah, and Pinterest is kind of like a Facebook in a way that once you start looking at a certain type of thing on Pinterest, it starts showing you more of that type of thing. So when I pull up my Pinterest, the only thing that comes up on my Pinterest is crafts. <laughs> Like, I see tons and tons of crafts. Um, and, you know, I may see something and go, oh, that's really cool. I'm going to make that. But then I'll change it to and tweak it up a little bit and do it the way I want to do it. Um, and sometimes it's, it, it cannot even be a craft that I see. And I was like, oh, I can make that with fabric or something like that. Hey, Pap. Terry. Mine did that too, and my husband had to put some... Like, in, in here, I think he put some kind of lubricant or oil or something in there, WD-40 in there. And it may get fuzz down in that little right there. So, it may need oiling. Hey, Carla. Okay. So, I cut my square a lot bigger than I cut my round. Because you need some excess on the outside so you can fold it over. So, I'm just going to kind of get rid of my corners here. We're gonna we're gonna make these flowers stand and everything. We're gonna make cute cute stuff. Oh, Colleen, you've been uh, collecting fabric. Yes, fabric is it's it can be a sickness. I'm just gonna tell you, ribbon and fabric is is a true addiction. <laughs> hey, Barb, <laughs> Betty, right? They use your good scissors. It's like don't you come in here, but don't touch nothing. Like, that part of the room is good, but you get on this side, don't be touching my stuff, okay? I, I know where everything is, and don't use my scissors. Okay, so you're going to take your little poof ball, and I'm going to try what Donna said, and I'm going to put some glue on it. And it's on low, so it's not going to burn me as, you know, like it was on high. It would take the hide off. And um, fabric, ribbon, and buttons. Barb but buttons is a problem, too, because I have big containers of buttons that I'll never use in my whole lifetime. Ribbons is your sickness right now, Lori said. It is. It's, they come in all colors and all prints and all sizes. and all, Yeah, you got to have it. Okay, so I just glued my little puff ball to my cardboard because Donna said that would help me. Hey, Polly, we're making little flowers. Hey, Nadine. Okay, so I'm going to put it down on the wrong side of my fabric, making sure I got, the, got it on the wrong side. And then you're going to be like your upholster in a chair. But So I'm just going to put some glue... And then I'm going to pull that side in and kind of hold it and let it set up a second. Christine's got four huge drawers full of um, fabric. Hey, Yvette. I've got a whole shelf over here full of fabric and pieces of fabric. And then I have a bin of scraps that I pull from that I don't throw away when I get done. Shelves of it, Patricia. I know. And it's a sickness. Like, okay. I want to know... Does everybody do this? Does everybody go in the fabric store and you have to go, ooh, that's so pretty. Look at that fabric. It's so pretty. Don't you just have to touch it so you can go, ooh, isn't it pretty? They boys went hair at my buttons. I saw somebody say it would fold over better. She probably said if you put slits in it. I bet that's what she said. Hey, Chris. Um... Napkins, are, yes, Teresa. Every time I go to Home Goods, I'll probably leave with a pack of napkins. Get a pack of 25 and you need one. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Entire closet full of fabric. Ugh. It is. I, but I go in the craft store and I have to pet it. And I have to, ooh, look how pretty this fabric. You have to run your hand down it. Uh-oh, Mary's addicted to Timu. I don't know, Colleen. I don't know why we have to do that. Why do you have to touch it and feel it? I, I don't know, but I think everybody that 
is a fabric person has to just feel it and say, ooh, it's so pretty. Yes, Joanne, I, I do too. An old crusty jar of buttons that just makes my heart go pitter-patter. <laughs> yes, Jane touches the fabric. You have to just pet it and be like, oh, ooh, it's so pretty. Like, ooh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> okay, so... There's my circle, and I got a little point up here, and like somebody just told me, if I probably, I think they said cuttings, cutting slits probably. So you can cut slits in it, and it will fold in a lot better, especially like this fabric is thick. <laughs> yarn, oh, yarn, yes, you gotta touch the yarn. You just gotta, I don't know, you just have to feel it or something. I don't know what it is. Okay, let me scrunch up my flower. Your husband sniffs the wood at the lumber yard. <laughs> I do like to go in Home Depot or Lowe's, and when you walk to the side where the wood is, it's like, oh, it smells so good. I love the way that, that wood smells. <laughs> Melinda. So, yeah, we all, okay, so we all must be the same then, and I'm not the only weird person that touches the fabric. And it's like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> touch it. Tammy's got to touch it, too. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't know. Oh gosh, Christine is on Timu also. I haven't done it yet. And I'm, one of my crafting friends was like, oh my gosh, if you order from Timu, it's actually Stephanie from Windy City Crafts. And I was like, no. She goes, girl, just, I said, I'm not even going to start. I don't need another thing in this room. I really don't. Okay. So I just kind of crumpled it up. So all my little petals would kind of do. The wooden flowers, I haven't put on the site yet, but I will tomorrow. All the little wooden flowers, aren't they cute? Okay, so here is my my little, looks like a little pin cushion. <sighs> Jumping on late, paying bills. Oh, that's not fun, Kathleen. Okay, so I'm, this fabric is thick, so there's this big mass of fabric on the back, of course. And I could have cut it smaller. So I'm going to try to smash this down. Running out of room. Wendy, I have way past running out of room. <laughs> I need a warehouse. But um, Nancy said, don't get on team move. You're going to be addicted. Smelling, yes, yeah, smelling leather, Jane. I like that smell too. Kathy, yes, you got to smell all the candles and you got to touch all the fabric, all the bolts. You just have to touch it. Oh, gosh, Tina, you've been on team move. Goodness. Haven't done it yet. Okay, so there's this one. Look how cute this is. Okay, so now this is the one I made earlier today. And then this is this one we just did. And then this was this one. But I got to put some brown on this one so it'll look like it matches that one. So we're just going around and around. And I guess I'm going to put it on this one too. So they'll all kind of look the same. And this is just a little brown stamp pad just to give it a little... <laughs> something something on the ends of the leaves or the petals rather now I gotta wipe that up with something and I have it everywhere brown I love this glass tabletop y'all I'm telling you I love it I love it I love it okay so see I put the brown on there it's just a little bit it's not a lot I didn't want it to just look too dingy that was all sitting upside down okay so now we are going to, and I just thought of something that I don't know how we're going to do it, but we I'm going to figure it out. I have dowels. Um, I have two dowels. And I was thinking earlier, I was like, oh, i got to cut those in half. I haven't cut them in half. So we're going to have to make them in half. And I have these spools. This is what I'm going to put my flowers in, okay? And we're going to decorate the spool. <sighs> Wow, you've ordered that many times and you haven't even spent spent $60. Wow. Okay, so my dowel in there. So I want, I want them to be like, I don't know, the middle one maybe smaller. I, I don't know. So I'm just going to kind of see where I want. So maybe if I cut it here, I'm trying to think how many dowels I have. <laughs> Okay, so maybe if I cut it like here. So now we're gonna tr try to do something. So if, if you 
these are really, um, so I'm just going to kind of go around with my little steak knife <laughs> and kind of make a little groove in it all the way around. It worked. Okay. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted it to break off. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut where some, yeah. So like this piece of stuff, that's going to cover up my, the back of my flower. So I'm going to put the dowel on the back and we're going to glue it. All right, which way? Okay. Figure out which way I want it to go. You had to force yourself to stay away from it. That's what everybody says and... I, I have yet to do it. I was kind of afraid of it at first, but I have not even looked on it and I probably don't need to look at it. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take this little fabric here, but I know they have like rubber stamps and the clear stamps and all that stuff. Um, and you have not been disappointed at all. Their flowers are beautiful. That's really cool to know though, but now y'all gonna get me looking at it. But I don't need anything else. But not just Timo. Any company that requires an app download, I don't trust. Yeah, I mean, all the apps are that way. You know, you've, it's just the way life is now. Tons of clear stamps. And you love everything. Okay, so see, there's the back. So there's my... So, because it kind of looks better than if you just had a stick glued to it. So I think I'm going to make this one... So I gotta figure this out, how I'm gonna do this. So if I did it in half, so maybe if I did it a little more than half, so I'm gonna do this one a little bit more than half. So then the third one will be a little lower, they'll all be different. Same here, I need nothing. Yeah, when Mandy was here, I said, okay, you're going to get to see my craft room and you're going to get to see all the stuff I have. And she didn't look through any bins or anything. And she goes, yeah, you got more stuff than I do. <laughs> and I was like, oh, gee, now I feel great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. So, they break pretty easy. And these are, like, you can get them at Walmart. These are Walmart. And you can get them at Dollar Tree. You know, they have dowels okay so this one's gonna be like this and then this one's gonna be a little bit smaller and then the next one's gonna be that may be too short I may have to get another dowel I don't know we'll see we'll see got your third order and you're done <laughs> y'all are gonna make me go look at it I do have I had the app and then I deleted it because you know I heard all kinds of crazy stuff about it and then, um, I haven't, I haven't done it. Okay, that one's, okay. I'm trying to be thoughtful of which way my stripes are going. So, I just make a big patch of glue. You can't see that, probably. And then, I'm going to lay this down. Okay, see which way my stripes are going. And then, I'm going to put that piece of fabric over it. And that's just going to kind of reinforce it. Tule markers in the jewel tones, but I thought I was buying the regular colors. Lee, what do you use these for? Um, I color my earrings and stuff with them, but there are some beautiful colors in the jewel tones. Um, you need to lead, delete. Uh, I need to delete it. Okay. All right. Yeah, you could use wooden skewers. Somebody said that too. You can definitely use those. But look how stinking cute this is. Look how cute. <laughs> okay. So, see, this one's going to be tall, and this one's going to be shorter. But we're going to dress up the spools, too. You're okay, Judy. You're okay. We're making cute little flowers. You can always go back and see how we made them. Um, all right, so those stripes are going that way. So, I think these stripes are going to go this way. So, it's going to be really little. So, let's see. Does that look right? Uh, don't look too bad. I'm trying to think of what else I could do. That one's even shorter. I might could glue it up higher. Aren't those? Okay. Now I gotta find me a piece of fabric to cover up my to cover up my back piece. Okay, so I just, you know, 
nothing fancy. I'm just cutting a little rectangle. All right, stripes are going that way. Okay. Holding that down. You have everything for these but the thread spools. You don't, if you don't want to use spools, then you can definitely use something else. You could put them in little bitty pots if you wanted to. They'd be so cute. Um, I just grabbed the spools just because I had them and I was like, you know. But do the, there's peat pots over here somewhere on my table. Yeah, the little bitty peat pots from Walmart or whatever or Dollar Tree. You could, um, look how cute. You could use those instead of the spools. But I want to dress up my spools. But look how adorable these are, y'all. Look. <laughs> but if you, since we're not gluing them, when you go to store them, you could always take this out and, you know, whatever if you wanted to. Um, yeah, Hobby Lobby and Amazon has the spools. I did get the spools out so I could show y'all. Just got to find them. They're under all of this somewhere. Somewhere. They come like this. Um, they come in a four piece bag and this was, well, the price is black out for whatever reason when they were, they're changing their prices on everything. Yes. Little bitty, um, terracotta pots would be adorable. You could use whatever you want to. Oh, medicine bottles. That would be cute. And you could paint them or put paper around them. So I think I'm going to put, I'm going to make these brown, I think. Old wooden spools. Hold on, I gotta get these baby wipes started. Okay, so I'm gonna take, um, what size are those, please? The spools are one and a half by two and one eighth, is what it says. Hey, Marie! Okay. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna kind of stain this a little bit. All right, so y'all know I'm doing the baby wipe stain method thing. <laughs> just so much easier. Than real stain, because real stain stinks and takes forever to dry. You have to do it outside. So I just take a baby wipe and some brown acrylic paint. Here we go. Thank you, Donna. Y'all are so sweet. Thank y'all for coming on with me and on my odd night. This is usually not my night, but I missed last night. So I had to make up. Okay, so see how they look? And you can wipe off what you don't want if it's too dark. Or you can make it as dark as you want to. Thank y'all for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Y'all are so sweet to me, and I appreciate every one of you. Oh, that's fine. You can always watch the replay and see how we made the flowers. It was very easy, just some circles. And that was it. Thank you, Tracy. Y'all are so sweet. Hey, Pat, thank you. Y'all are so sweet to me. When y'all say stuff like that, I'm just like, oh, I want to crawl under the table. <laughs> oh, they look smaller than the ones in the back. Okay, hold on, let me see. They shouldn't be. Well, now that you say that, they do have several sizes at Hobby Lobby. They probably are smaller. I just grabbed these out of my bag in here, and they may be smaller. So let me... No? They're the same, they're the same size. They just look like they're cut in more than these. Now they are a little bit smaller around than those. So yeah, they may be just a different cut, you know, however they, um, the factory does them and they may be all different. I don't know, but I don't think I've ever bought any spools from anywhere else but Hobby Lobby, actually. So I'm gonna do my spools. Ah, yay, Stacy! you were surprised. Well, I felt bad because I had to miss last night, but I had to go to that meeting to 
see how I'm going to spend all my money on my senior in high school next year. <laughs> you know, everything is everything and everything, <laughs> all the things. Shirts and caps and gowns and invitations and pictures and homecomings and all that stuff. Y'all know. Y'all know. All right, so I am going to take my sticks, I think. And I'm just going to use what's on my white and just kind of make them brown. Uh-oh. I don't have a flower attached. Just kind of give them a little stain color. So it kind of all looks matchy. Oh, she has old vintage spools. And if you don't have spools, you can use little wood blocks or something and drill a hole in the middle or, you know, think up something that you could use. I'm sure y'all have some. Hey, Rita, I'm good. Yep, Pat, get that checkbook ready, I know. Yep. Came from California. Yeah, I heard it. the Timu stuff comes from California. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've never ordered, but that's what I keep hearing people say. Okay, yeah. So the center of this, the center of my flower, is the Waverly top. So it's about a two and a quarter across. Towels would fall apart. Oh, okay. So there's that. So now we got to dress up our spools. So I'm just gonna take probably some of the fabric that's that I've used and maybe go around. You know what? I think I'm gonna use this. I've been wanting to use this so bad. This is from Hobby Lobby. And it's it's frayed on the sides, but it's like a linen kind of color. What if I use that? and then put some embellishments on. First of all, that's not cut straight. Okay. And then kind of embellish around it. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. See, look how cute that looks on that spool. Isn't that cute? Y'all are gonna keep talking about Timu and I'm gonna have to order something just to see. But I know everybody's doing it. I see people all over TikTok and they're opening packages and... Aw, thank you, Judy. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go around. I'll cut a little bit more off. But I love this ribbon and I've been wanting to use it and I haven't. And this was the, this is the perfect project for it. Ooh. Way too much glue. Do you really love it if they have the best crafts? To oh, wow. Okay. So, y'all are going to make me do it. Okay. So, look how cute. Don't it look kind of vintage-like? So, see how this is going to look. But I'll put something around it. The spool to kind of dress it up. Oh! Angel said put USA on it. Oh! <gasps> That's a good idea. I got my stamps out too, because I was gonna stamp a tag or something and put USA, but now she just gave me a grand idea. But this ribbon was $4.99, and of course y'all know I didn't buy it regular price, I bought it on sale. If it's not on sale that week, I don't buy it. Because you just have to wait till the next week. Unless it was an emergency, that's the only time I would buy something full price. Their sizes are totally off. Oh, some raffia. That would be cute. Um, then I thought about moss. And there's my moss. Putting moss on the, um, around the bottom of the flower. Okay. So there's that one. I got one more. I have... Do they have ribbon at Timu? Thank you, Jill. Do they have ribbon at Timu? They probably do. They probably have beads and everything. They have everything. China. Yeah, most of everything we get anyways from China. 
I ordered something from Amazon. Totally forgot that I had ordered it. It came yesterday. I was like, that's been like two and a half weeks ago. Where did that come from? <laughs> Slow boat from China. I was like, geez, I didn't realize it when I ordered that. They have different colors. Ooh, don't tell me that, Tracy. I'm gonna have to go get them. I love this stuff. Look, it's just already frayed and everything. It looks really cool. Okay, so if I put... Where are my... I could have a have a table the size of Texas and it still wouldn't be big enough. Um, let's see, where's my... These are just my regular ones that y'all always ask me about that come from Michaels. Team move has all sorts of things. So do you just like type in uh, like beads or what do you, I mean, I don't know. Is it kind of like you have categories like Amazon, I guess? All right, so there's my U ribbon. Okay, you just type in like ribbon or craft supplies, I guess. Okay, so there's my little U. All right, hold on, gotta figure out. Well, I guess it don't matter because I'll put my flowers in whatever one I want. But I'm gonna put my seam in the back and put this in the front. Kinda roll it a little bit. <laughs> Looks so good. Hey, Glenda, that's my neighbor. She lives like a couple streets over from me. Yeah, how is the shipping and on Timu? That's another question. All right, that's upside down. Whoop. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Oh, they send you bunches of metas of messages. Ugh. Goodness. Okay, there's my U. So I'm gonna do s on this one so i'm kind of rolling my spool a little bit just so my whole stamp gets on there there's my s this is the greatest idea i'm glad she told me i can't remember who said that now but i'm so glad she told me that their farmhouse canvas is cheap and free shipping it's free oh wow they're gonna give amazon a run for their money okay so, there's my A. Cute. I'm just going to stick these on there and I'll wipe them off in a little bit. So, here are my spools. Oh, both your orders have been free shipping. So, y'all are going to force me to go do it. <laughs> okay, so here's my USA. And now i got to figure this this and then this one I think I'm gonna that's a little it looks well it doesn't really look too low but I was gonna try to glue it up higher maybe a little bit so it's not as short I you, you get many from them now everything is free shipping okay so I think I am going to like put some glue on my little dowel and try to stick it up a little bit higher like that maybe so it's not so short ink pads are pretty good and it comes within two weeks shipping is always free about the messages oh gosh they send you tons of those ten dollar minimum order oh, carol's like okay look out she's gonna be buying from timu i'm gonna be up to midnight tonight looking at it okay all right so see i just kind of raised that one up a little bit i just put some glue to my dowel and then because these are these are sitting all the way to the table. Oh, you can become an affiliate too? All right, so look how cute these are. So now, I'm either gonna, it's a brand new bag of moss. It seems like there's not as much in there as it used to be from Dollar Tree. I don't know, maybe it's just me. What if I put moss around here? Make sure the A is straight. Oh. did it again. I did it again. The same thing I did with those boxes. <laughs> okay. It came, it came loose. Okay. So I twisted it. There we go. <laughs> okay. I fixed it. <laughs> 
Okay. So I fixed it. Now, he's straight. For the most part. <laughs> All right. Stay right there. <laughs> Flower is not straight with Larry. <laughs> Jerry, I did it again. If you didn't see that video that I did on this, everybody was screaming at me from their home. <laughs> um, and I finally realized what I had done. I glued the boxes wrong. But it was, I recovered. I recovered. Now I'm thinking I just need to glue these in because they, they wobble around. So I think I am going to glue them in. Thank y'all for helping me though because I sure was going to have that crooked. Put some of the other bottom. Oh, yeah. DT downsize a lot of things. Okay. I'm trying to get them straight. Before I put some glue down in the little hole. Because they are kind of wobbly. And I'm just going to... We're just going to make them permanent. Okay. Alright. So, there's my U. And there's my S. And there's my... Why does that feel like it's... Now, it won't stop. I don't know what's going on with that. Why did it go down that far? Okay. Look how cute these are. Yay, boxes. The boxes, those are good times. Okay, so now I think I'm going to take, like, just of the, some of the same fabric as that matches the flowers, maybe, and tie something around this part because it needs something. Let me just whack that off. Yes, Margaret, they're very simple. Um, but I give you the measurements on the sizes of the of the flower, you know, the circles I used. So yeah, they're very um they're very easy. Okay. So I'm just gonna tie this somehow to make this look. I wonder if I should just make them short like little leaves, but or should I leave them hanging? I want to be that raggy bow person, and I just can't, I can't do it. Uh, I cannot pull it off. I'm trying to twist that. So, should I leave them, like, long, or should I cut them off short, like this? Hold on. To where it looks like little leaves, or leave it long. Uh, Wanda, you can get them at Hobby Lobby in like the wood pile section or Amazon, just wood spools. Hey, Judy. Spools. Yeah, I got them, Wanda, I got them at Hobby Lobby, but I know Amazon has them. So I'm just wondering, should I leave them long and flowy or should I... Alright, where is my... Gingham fabric. Short, not long. Okay, so y'all are saying short. Where, oh where. Maybe I can just tear this one a little shorter. Cut them short. Okay, so trying to... Okay, and I want to put the same fabric on the same thing. Y'all know what I'm trying to do. Short like leaves. Okay. And I didn't tie it in a knot. I just tied it. Yeah, I think that looks better. Look. Looks like a little leaf. And then somebody said long. But I'll make them a little bit shorter. So that looks... Better. But see how I'm trying to match, not match, but they all kind of are similar. And do I have any of this already? Yes, I do. See, I pulled this out of my, my bin, my scrap bin. Okay, so this one's going to get this one. Thank you, Emily. Sue said long. Well, I'm already cutting them. Sorry. I just, I cannot be that, that shabby chic bow person, the raggy bow, and I just want to be, and I can't. Aren't 
they cute? Look, you can see. They look like they're pointing directions. <laughs> look how stinking cute they are. See, there's my U, and there's my S, and there's my A. Yes, <laughs> to make sure y'all aren't going crazy. But look how cute. And this one is about to drive me crazy because it's somehow sticking. And it's making it wobbly on the bottom. Look. Give it a little lift down here on the bottom. Because I can't. See if it'll make it level. For the most part. <laughs> but look how cute. I just thought of something else I was going to do. And I can't remember. What I was going to do to them. Something else. But if you wanted to, you could cut like... A little piece of this and stamp your letters on and put in the center of your flowers and do USA that way or anything like that <laughs> like the arms like Groot <laughs> so funny yes Tina I mean sunflowers would be adorable um, this okay so my mind starts going all these other directions so what if you didn't do the stem and you just had the flower? You could put a pin on the back and it could be a pin, like Mother's Day pin, and do different color flowers. Um, there's so many possibilities y'all can do with this. Put these on, on anything, really, and not do the stem part. You could do just the flower. You could put magnets on the back. They could be magnets for your refrigerator. Be so cute. Oh, moss. That's it. Thank you, Tracy. Somebody said moss, and Tracy said moss, and yes, it's the moss. Oh, this stuff gives me the the nerves because y'all know it gets everywhere and that's why I don't really like it. But I like the way it looks. So we'll do the moss. A button in the center. Yes, that would be cute. Or if you had like sunflower and you did the whole thing in buttons. Cute. Okay, yeah, now the moss takes it up another notch. I do believe. But I gotta give it a quick, quick little haircut. Oh. And I can't rake it off of the garbage because I don't have a garbage bag in my can <laughs> under my table. So it's just gonna have to sit here on the table till I get a bag in there. Okay. Look. See, that looks better with my, the moss. Just that little bit of moss. For every holiday, Sherry said, yes. Knocked, I knocked that off the table that time. Okay, so let's put some moss. It don't take much. Yes, Vicky, sunflowers. Yes, we gotta make some sunflowers now. Somebody's running to their craft room right now going, oh, we're gonna make some sunflowers. <laughs> and they're so easy, so easy. And just so cute. Just cuteness. Look at, see, the moss just took it up a little notch. It looks like little pots. Cute. Thank you, Brenda. Reuse on the next one. Yeah, you could. You could use the spools again and just switch out your flowers. You could do definitely do that. Yes, the moss makes them. I just can't get over how the moss just changes it so very much. They're also cute. Thank you, Brenda. Something I just kind of threw together today, like, needs a button in the middle. I gotta find the perfect buttons, though. And I would have to dig through my buttons. But yes, that, I agree. It would be very cute. If you had little star buttons or something, that would be adorable. That moss gets a little crazy. Look, I can't hold them all three up at one time, but I'm gonna try. Look how adorable they are. <laughs> I love the Mitch, the Mitch matched fabric, but it all goes together. That makes sense. Look at how cute. Getting out your ticking, Christine said. Now, why can't they have yellow ticking? Cause that would make some awesome sunflowers. Why? Why can't they have yellow ticking? 
Oh, you could Velcro the USA on. That'd be cute. Or you could put it on this part. And that on the middles. And then you could change. Then when you change the flowers, the spools would just, excuse me, be plain. And you could tie, um, you know, you could tie a little piece of ribbon around the middle of the spool and change it for the seasons. That would be cute too. Like Christmas, do Christmas ribbon, do like red poinsettias or whatever. Just got a small flag button clearance at Hobby Lobby. That would be cute. And you could put a little something, a star or something in the middle of the little bow, whatever that is. I just think it needed something on the stem, but it does look like little leaves. Yes, Christine, why can't we have yellow ticking? Oh, Judy said, Judy's gonna take it up a notch and say, let's make them double-sided. You definitely can make two flowers and Yes, you could do that. And you could, okay, so, hold on. See, I've got my mind whirling now. You don't even have to have, what did I do with that crate I had? I put a crate up today. What did I do with it? You know, the little crate, these crates that we did the other day. I just had one today and I put it back in the bin. Or at least I thought I did. Here it is. So you could put, instead of putting them in the spools, you could do the crates and put like two or three, if you have the bigger ones, in your crate and not have to use the spools. And then you could just take them out and change them, like put styrofoam in here and then just poke them in there. I mean, there's, or, or this. You could use that, these little, you know, the little boxes that we had the other night, those. And this is like the inside drawer part. You could totally do that instead of the spools, if you don't have spools. And then you could cover this with scrapbook paper, fabric, whatever. So cute, so cute. So see, just come up with your own thing and use what you have. Um, but there's so many possibilities you could do. They do have yellow ticking fabric. I just checked Amazon. <laughs> of course Amazon has it. Amazon has all the things. Hey, Carrie. Oh, somebody said garland, Amy. Oh my gosh. Yes, these would be cute on a garland. Adorable. Um, and then in between the flowers, you could tie just pieces of fabric that matched and then have the flowers on the garland. Y'all, there's so much you could do with them. And they're just simple. They're simple, just simple circles. Y'all can do this. It's so easy. And cardboard. And if you don't have the polyfill, use some tissue or some cotton balls or something. Gracie said uh, salt and pepper shakers from Dollar Tree. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think I swallowed a piece of moss. <laughs> hey, Sue. Thank you, Deborah. They are so super cute. So adorable. They are. And um, so y'all asking about the flowers. I'm going to have flowers up and I'm going to have um, popsicles and hold on. I got to show you something else I didn't grab before I came live because I was going to show y'all. Where are they? Oh no, where are they? Here they are. Ooh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't leave. Here I come. Okay. Ticking supplies. And you don't have to use ticking, you know. I just like the ticking. I think it gives it that, um, that kind of an old look, the old Americana kind of look. That's why I wanted to use the ticking. Um, wait till y'all see these. So these are for gumball machines or whatever you want to do with them. So you get two of these. Look how cute. And then you get six bees for the gumball machines. So I cut a bunch of stuff for gumball machines today. So I'm probably going to put those on my site tomorrow. Thank you, Gloria. Um, so now y'all gonna make me go order some yellow ticking. I didn't know it came in yellow. But see, you get bees and hives. <laughs> oh, thank you, Donna. I love the watermelon stuff. I need to make some watermelons for the gumball machine too. And now I think I need to make these. Cause I made those last year, just came up with that idea. Yes, there is bat, there's um, polyfill. So yeah, it's puffy. So I just took a piece of cardboard and then I put the batting and put my fabric down and then did it like I was upholstering a chair. But yes, there's a little bit of polyfill in there. 
but you could use cotton balls. You could use, you know, any kind of something to make it puffy if you don't have polyfill. But, um, thank you, Carol. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you, Mary. But, um, so this little flower, I don't know. Y'all, I've got brown paint under my fingernails, but see, it's, it's a flat, it's a circle, and then it has these little slits all the way around. So it's just a circle, and then you tie fabric in between there. And I cut that last year, and I thought, well, I'm gonna cut these. And then sometimes I'll end up cutting something, and then it just never comes to fruition. Like, I just don't have the time to cut it, or all this other stuff starts coming, you know, seasons come, and then. It's like by the time I want to do it, it's like somebody says, oh, well, I need, I want this, we want this, we want this. And then it's like by the time I know it, spring's over and we're on to the next season. It goes so fast. Oh, camping stuff. Yes, I can see what I can try to do for that. Um, but I love it when y'all give me ideas too because sometimes it's, I look at files until I'm just crazy and, you know, to come up with whatever. So sometimes I, you know, I don't live... I say by the ocean, so I don't do ocean stuff. And out of the general population, there's not a lot of people that live by the ocean, but some people like ocean stuff, so I don't do ocean stuff. So, you know, it's it's like I don't know what everybody wants sometimes. They're just fantastically. Thank you, Marcedia. Thank you, Lisa, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Yes, use some of that fabric. And if you don't have fabric, you probably got old clothes. You might have flannel that we used in the fall from stuff that you, um, we, you know, buy, I buy shirts at Goodwill sometimes just because I like the fabric. Um, Lake Life, that would be good, Tammy. Oh, Rhonda, that's fine. You can always watch the replay. Thank you, Kim. They are. So somebody said what I'd use for the center. I cut out a piece of cardboard. And I used the top of my Waverly bottle. <laughs> As a, as a template, and then it's got polyfill, a little bit of polyfill, and then fabric. That's it. And I covered it like I was covering a seat of a chair. <laughs> so, um, just, you know, that's all that is. So, it kind of gives it a little, you know, raised look. Thank you, Mary. Gail, sprinkle is S-H-A-R-E. Um, we can't technically say that. Um. But that's what that means. Stay warm till Thursday night. Is it cold, Carol? Oh, dinner would look too cute, Christine. That would be very cute. Or I buy the shirts for the buttons, yes. Buttons aren't cheap. <laughs> oh, you're fine, Dora. Thank you for being here. Cows, pigs, sheep, and chickens. Okay, I can do that because I've got some chickens I bought just recently that I need to cut. Good night, Mary. Thank you, Brenda. Like a pin cushion. Yes, Carol. It's not really raised a lot, but it is kind of squishy. <laughs> but when you look at it here, you can tell that it's it's not just a flat piece of cardboard. A beach theme bedroom. Spend a day coffee dyeing some material used this week. Yes, coffee dyeing would be great for this. I've cr I've tried the coffee dyeing, but it, it still smells like coffee. Like a week or two later, it still smells like coffee, which it's not a bad thing, but it can be strong. And tea works good too, but not as good as coffee does. Yellow ticking. <laughs> I'm going to go out and look at some yellow ticking. Good night, Leslie. Good night, Lori. And I'm going to hop off and I'll see y'all Thursday. Um, so we'll come up with something else. But now I'm going to want some yellow ticking fabric. I had to get me some. Yeah, they're not on the site yet. I'm going to put them up tomorrow. The bees and the popsicles and the flowers. The corbels are there. I got the corbels on there. Y'all asked me for those. Um, they look like this. Remember I was showing y'all that last week? And somebody said, oh, where'd you get that? And I said, oh, I cut it on my machine. Well, I cut y'all some. It's a set of two, but they're three pieces, and they're glued together, and then I just paint them brown, and I just distressed them white just to set, like, on your tiered tray and stuff because I love corbels. Love corbels. 
but they just kind of sit there for decor or whatever. Um, but the corbels are there. And here's the trinket trays. Let me show you all the trinket trays up close. These are so, I did this with watercolor. And I have a tutorial video. I just got to put it up on the page. But these are little trinket trays. Like you can put your rings in or whatever. But yes, I did that with watercolor. And then I sealed it with clear uh, spray sealer. Good night, Betty. Good night, Kathleen. Aren't they pretty? So anyway, so bye guys. I'm going to hop off and thank y'all for being here. You too, Debbie. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Cheryl. And you have a good day too and good night. Thank you, Robin and Marcedia. Love all y'all. Thank y'all for being here and I will see y'all Thursday. Have a great next couple of days. I'll see you Thursday night. Bye guys.